Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be checking out the best new free-to-play first-person shooter games that you can play in 2020. Of course we love Crunker.io, but in this video we're going to be checking out some new browser first-person shooter games that you guys have probably never seen before. Let me guarantee they are absolutely amazing, and best of all, they're all free to play. Now, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to go and smash that like button right now. And also, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to go and miss out on any new videos. Free to play, top 10 lists, crunker.io videos, browser videos, and more. Make sure to go and hit that subscribe button right now. And in the comment section below, go and comment what your favorite browser game is right now. Is it crunker.io? Is it RuneScape? Go and tell me in the comment section below and I will heart react some comments. Now, before we hop into the video, let's quickly talk about the best way to play browser games right now. And that's with Brave Browser. With Brave Browser, you get no lag, unlimited FPS, and you earn money by watching ads, which is pretty cool indeed. And if you guys want to go and get the best gaming experience, make sure to go and click that link in the description below and download Brave Browser right now. All right, guys, let's get straight into it and check out the first game for this video. And by the way, there is a ton of games that we're checking out today, so make sure to go and watch all the way to the end. But the first one is called Ford Assault Remix, and this menu screen may seem a little bit plain. We're going to go and play as a guest, but this game actually is surprisingly, surprisingly good, and I want to hop straight into a match and check it out. Alright guys, so we've hopped straight in and we're playing a little bit of gun game and the first impressions for this game are probably maybe similar to mine that the graphics look crazy crazy good for a browser game. It's running on the Unity engine. The gunplay is pretty decent as well. With gun game, I decided, you know, I want to go and show off all the weapons. That was a Tech 9 right there. We've got a little deagle here. There's a guy around the corner. Oh, there he is. The deagle boom and gun right here. One guy coming around, Uzi spray him, oh, let's him the knife, let's him the knife, there we go, the knife kill, easy. Since I am connecting to US servers, the ping is a little bit bad, I apologize, but come on, the gameplay and the graphics for a browser game are actually not that bad. Obviously, you can't hold it to the highest standards possible, but, like, it's actually... It's actually pretty, pretty decent. I'm just mowing down em enemies right now. I don't think you can ADS in this game, but no matter, the hit fire is going to do work. Let's run around a map and try to go and win this one and show off all the weapons. But yeah, the gunplay feels very, very familiar to stuff like, you know, uh, Call of Duty and stuff like that. Very, very familiar, pretty generic, but overall generic on the browser actually doesn't really matter that much. If it works well and has decent enough gra graphics, I am very, very happy. This guy right here, hit him with the, this gun. The AK-47, someone's shooting behind me. No, I'm on a sniper now. I'm just mowing through these weapons. All right, sniper rifle time. Let's see what I can go and do. Oh, hit him with the no scope in close range. Oh, let's get this guy, guy in the back. And we go and finish it off, boys. That was kill after kill right there. What was that? I don't even know how many kills I got. 16 and 0? Easy peasy. When it comes to browser games, it's generally less about what's the, you know, the best game possible and more so what's just fun to go and play and has relatively no lag. And this game on my computer is running quite well, but I've played this on our not so good computers and this is actually pretty, pretty decent. That's two kills. We're on the knife right now. All right, guys, so we've gone and hopped into another match and this time it's on a map called Arid. And I have to say that the level of detail and the scale of these maps are actually kind of huge. Actually kind of huge for a browser game. All right, I think I got a bit of a flank on these guys. Let's go and take them out. Tap fry a little bit. Now we're on the scar right now. Oh my God, there's so many people. That's one. That's another. Oh my God, the shotgun time. Four, that was, oh, how did I kill him? He had, a, he had a pistol, he had a shotgun. What do you mean? Browser games historically have been always for people with not so good PCs and this game is no exception. It's quite easy to run and it, it may not have the most unique concept of all time but overall it does it does what it does well all right guys there's one person left i think they're spawning over here let's go run around stab them right in the back and go and finish off this and check out the next game that i want to go and go and play a little bit and we'll go and see it right now. 
Alright guys, the next game we're going to be checking out is called Venge.io. And this game is probably one of the best browser games out right now. One of the best browser FPS games out right now. It's made by the guys that made Mini Royale 2, so you know it's going to be a banger title. And you know what, I'm just going to hop straight in and show you guys what it's all about. Alright guys, so we've gone and hopped in game and the concept for this one is fairly simple but it actually has a little bit of depth. Basically, what you have to go and do is capture the objective right here but you also have an ability. This grenade right here, going for it right at the enemy, goes and does a little bit of damage. You also have a melee that you can go and use in close range. But on top of all of that, you have a, a, a little bit of an ability upgrade. You go and hold the B key after you kill enough people and you can go and choose an upgrade. So I'm going to go and do Spark Sprite to make the enemy blind. All right, so if we go around the corner right now, we go and throw my grenade. That should go and blind the enemy. As you can see, blinded, got no idea where, where I am. Go and spray him down quite nicely. Duck around this corner. Go and shoot this guy right in the face right now. So this game is quite new. We only have four weapons, Scar, Shotgun, Sniper, and Tech-9. We'll go and use the Shotgun. We only have one character, so she can go and throw grenades. I believe maybe other characters will have different types of abilities, but we only have two maps as well. So we'll go into the other one and check it out. All right, guys, so we've gone and hopped into another match, and this one is a little bit different. These guys seem like they know what they're doing. This is actually a little, little bit difficult. Oh, my God, I'm going to get hit by that muscle grenade as well. See how I'm losing all my health? Oh, this guy just destroyed me. All right, so a minute 30 on the clock, man. This TTV Nemo tryhard is pretty, pretty decent at the game. I have to say, he's going around and absolutely destroying me. But I got the shotgun right now. Oh, where's he going, man? The movement is actually kind of insane in this game. But we got the kill. Let's jump over here. That's one. There we go. That's the double kill. Easy peasy. I've been muscle shocked, though. This is not, not good. Really immobilizing. Oh, no. Oh my god. I have to go and save it. This game is actually weirdly competitive. All right, let's go and take out the second guy with the SMG. Easy peasy. It's actually weirdly competitive and quite fun to be perfectly honest. This ADS right here. Oh, he's going to take me out. I came in late, but this guy's got 20 kills. I had 17. So let's go and have another match. I need to go and destroy him. Come on, he's a Twitch streamer. I need to... He's like, not going to lie, guess you are good. <laughs> All right, the game's already started. He's got a bit of an advantage, but let's go and actually... Let's go and actually win this one. I really want to go and win against this uh, Twitch streamer and see what I can go and do. We swap back to the Scar because that is just a superior, superior gun definitely superior and i'm just gonna go and stick in it the snipe is pretty decent but this gun is uh pretty pretty good we've got reload animations as well this guy with the grenade oh i'll go and get a massive massive damage need to go and reload duck out for a second this guy's using all the uh all the movement possible the movement is surprisingly surprisingly fast the you can just go and bunny hop as much as you want there is no real cap to it um, I think there's going to be a guy running around the corner there. It's a bit of a prediction. Oh, it actually wasn't too bad. He came around a bit fast. Next objective in a little bit. I'm going to go and throw a grenade right there. That might go. Oh, actually, it actually did go in. Oh, that was massive, massive prediction right there. That, that definitely would have looked like hacks to any other person. And he just went and smashed me with a sniper rifle. It's an easy to have a little bit of a battle. I'm just going and getting all the points right now. I'll throw one around here. Oh, he's coming around the front. Both around the front. This is not good for me. No bullets! One. And we'll throw another one. That was really, really quite close. There we go. Headshots after headshots. Let's go. Another one. Oh, man. I almost got him. Reduce cooldown on this is uh, pretty, pretty damn sweet. Oh, headshots after headshots. Let's go. Where's the second guy? I can hear his shotgun blast. Oh, he's around there. That's another one. Headshots again, again. Let's go. All right, 30 seconds left. I'm not actually sure who's going to go and win this one, but I'm going to go and try it out. Try to go and win this. Oh, man. Last headshot right there. Easy. Let's go. Dude, I think I'm going to actually win this one. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I thought I would. All right, that grenade should go and do something to him. Yeah, he is muscle spasmed. There we go. Easy kill. Great grenade by me. Let's throw another one over there. Come from the other angle that goes and holds it off. The grenade radius is crazy. And we go and win. Let's go, boys. Let's go. 23 kills. We just, we sweated on this guy. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so the next game we're going to be checking out is called Merc Zone. And this game is made by the same guys that make Shellshockers.io. The Shellshockers, in my opinion, isn't the best game. It's a little bit glitchy, a little bit laggy, and the concept isn't that good. But this game right here does really have a little something. It is quite, quite unique, especially in its art style. Alright, take out one person, assisted in another. They're down here. I'm just spraying my weapons and getting kills, but this is a free-for-all, classic free-for-all. That guy slid somehow, I'm not 100% sure. He just demolished me with a shotgun. Okay, so see his crash, and oh, you can do a little bit of a slide right up on that person right there. And we'll use this tree as a little bit of cover. This is an actual meme. This is actual meme. He almost killed me. And I'm going to go and use this as a bit more cover. There we go, took out another guy, easy peasy. But I, honestly, the art style of this game, very, very unique, and it focuses more on the gameplay. You've got these red enemies and just a quite beige background. It means that you focus more on the combat than anything else. All right, so the soldier class is pretty decent. Let's go and check out the shotgun. I played with the uh, pistol before and I wasn't the, uh, wasn't the biggest fan, but you go close range with this guy. Oh my God, the shotgun's actually got a massive boom behind it. I'm missing every shot right here. Oh, I got the kill. I got the kill and I got an assist. Nice. Oh my god. One shot in close range with this bad boy. All right, pistol time. Let's go and see what it can go and do. I got close range. Oh my god. Oh, does a decent amount of damage. Oh, he's just owning, actually owning me. Oh, actually I own him. The pistol doing is doing some damage and it has less health than the other characters. I'm not sure if it has like a special ability or something. It hopefully does. Oh, it does 40 damage. Oh, it does crazy damage. It's like a Desert Eagle with like a massive fire rate. Okay, interesting. So I've got 100 ping, 1000 FPS, and you know what? This might not be the cup of tea for a lot of people, but I'm not going to lie when I say that this game has something that a lot of other others doesn't. It has a really cool art vision. Uh, the graphics obviously really, really simple, so it's quite easy to go and run on a lot of computers, which is great. If you can go and play Crunky, you can most definitely go and play this. Oh, there's a guy around here. Man, there is people absolutely everywhere. Oh, I think the, uh, I think the assault rifle is definitely the best one. Oh, that's one. Got 47 HP. Oh my god, the grenade is crazy. Alright, this Russell guy is getting far too many kills. He does not go and deserve to go and win this. We need to go and, uh, we need to go and win this one. I think this, uh, upstairs section is definitely the best spot. Get big, big vantage on the everybody. Go and take him out. Oh, I need to go and reload. You can't swap to a secondary. No secondaries in this game from what it seems. Oh, okay, okay. Drop down. Uh, accidentally. Okay, he's got the the shotgun's got terrible, terrible range. Where are they? Behind me. Four field kill streak. New kill leader. Let's go. Whew. I can see why people might uh sweat a little bit in this. Oh man, I didn't get any of those kills. The easiest, easiest, easiest mop up for some of these people. All right, where are they? There we go. We're getting into it. Seven kill streak right now. I like, I like, I like where this is going. I think that enemy is dead. Oh, I eliminated that guy. Oh, there's so many people right in front of me. That's another one. Oh no. Oh no, I got destroyed. A lot of people underestimate browser games. I think they really, really do. I think browser games are definitely better than um what most people go and expect. And little gems like this go and definitely break the stigma. Break the stigma of what, you know, is a quote unquote good and bad browser game. Because this is definitely a good one. Alright, round ending. Let's go and throw that grenade. Oh man, I threw it very, very poorly. One more kill to go and finish it off. Two more kills to go and finish it off. Brett goes and wins. Let's go, boys. All right, guys. The next game we're going to be checking out is called War Attack. And when we go and hop in game, you guys will go and see some relevance to uh, some, some similarities, should I go and say, to another free-to-play browser first-person shooter that you might know called Crunker.io. So let's go and hop in game. Let's go and check it out and see what this one is all about. But yeah, this game, as you can see, blocky art style. You know, you've got those Minecraft and Crunker influences worn very, very, very heavily on its sleeve. But 
This game actually, it's not the best first person shooter in this list by far, but it does go and do a few things right and the graphics are definitely one of them. Now please note that this game, despite it, you know, running quite well and having very minimal lag, I'm actually playing on the Russian server. The reason why is the other servers are completely unpopulated. So if you guys enjoy this and if you guys enjoy any of the any of the games in this video, make sure to go and check them out. Make sure to go and support these games because the thing is with browser games, it's hard to go and get any publicity. And so a lot of people are asking for videos on them and I'm happy to go and oblige and show you guys some really 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 sick titles and this one you know I'm, I'm really enjoying it but yeah the play base for this game is definitely not as significant as crunker.io in games like that there's a guy sniping me around this corner he's killed me quite a few times so what we're gonna go and do is do a little bit of flank I think that's the guy that went and took me out I can't go and pick up his weapon however that's a little bit sad but jump around the corner seems to be an enemy right in my face we'll take him out I think they're spawning in this corner right here. We're gonna we'll go over to the med pack actually. I think there's a oh wow okay you definitely didn't deserve to get that kill. But yeah, can't go and pick up weapons and there's no regen HP. But man, I am just destroying these guys. Two kills right now. Reload. Oh, did we get the third? Hey, we got the triple kill. And of course, we're on Russian servers. A little bit of a trade back and forth. The classic, dude. The classic. All right, guys. One more life for war attack. And I have to say, I am, you know, it's not my cup of tea per se. But I'd say there is definitely maybe a few people when they have watched watching this video right now that would definitely, definitely go and enjoy this. And if you do, link in the description below and link in the description below to all the games talked about in this video. But we still got a few to go and check out so let me go and kill one more enemy and then we'll go and hop straight into it because you know i love checking out for a browser first person shooter games if there's any that you guys want me to go and check out that i've missed go and tell me in the comment section below there okay there he goes he goes and takes me out that was war attack honestly not that bad of a game Alright guys, the next game we're going to be checking out is called Raid Land, and this is a third person hack and slash medieval type game. I think it's better to just hop straight into a match and go and show you guys what it's all about. So you go and hit play, and you get to go and choose your class. You can go and choose your class by the way, just changing it in the game, but we're going to go and start off as the warrior, the more well-rounded class out of the three. So this mode right here is basically you go and get capture gold. Whoever the team that goes and captures the most gold at the end of the match goes and wins. So the enemy is uh, heavily, heavily leading, but we're going to go and try to make a little bit of a comeback right here. I'm blocking with my, uh, what's it called, my uh, shield against all these archers. And what I can actually do is swipe right into them and swipe them out. Oh, oh come on. Come on, where is he? Oh, low energy. This guy's so low. Wow, he actually regen. Oh, this guy's a god. You can actually battle smash right into him, as you can see. Even though he juked me and got the regen, doesn't matter. I went and, went and took him out. Alright, there's an archer guy around here. We're gonna do... Oh, I wanted to go and do one of those uh, shield bashes into the ground. Oh, we can do that right now. Oh, did a little bit of damage. Oh, and I just got swiped crazy. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh, we're going to go and slap, swipe and dice him. Oh, yes. We're right in the enemy's right zone right now. That's one kill. Oh, my God. What is happening? They're all going for me. Oh, no. The archers are all going for me. That's one. Oh, come on. All right, guys, so we've hopped into another game, and this time I'm playing as the archer. And I have to go and say, I am... Not particularly good at this game. Not particularly good at all. Hey, I got a kill. I got one kill. That's always nice. Oh, and I just got swiped right behind. Like, the melee casters are definitely easy to use. All right, let's go and use the Berserker. Because I like a little bit of range, but I also like the beefiness of it this guy has. And also his massive, massive swinger. But what you can go and do is charge it up and then throw it. And it gets stuck. Then you can go and pick it up. But you can also go and return it to you. So what you can go and do is... When you have enough energy, return it back to yourself, like lightsaber, Jedi style, kind of crazy. But let's go right on this guy, swipe him, got the kill, and as you can see, it's it's a bit, a bit of chaos. Alright, so this guy right here, boom, headshot with the axe. Okay, this is definitely my favorite class. This is definitely my favorite class, and I am just clicking all over the screen right now. 
I reckon I'm getting way, way, way too into this. But hey, I have to say, this game, really enjoyable and something a little bit different on this list and compared to what else we've gone and played. But with that said, we have one more game to go and check out. And I think it's going to be something a little bit special. Alright guys, let's go and check out our last game and it's definitely a special one and it's called Vertex.io and this is basically the game before Crunker.io. We've got the similar ideas, we've got the different classes, Trigger Man, Detective, Hunter, so on. We've got the same font you'll see in game, the style is quite similar, we've got the blocky but it's also a little bit Hotline Miami-ish with the uh, 2D top down and as you can see, it's not a first-person shooter. It's a top-down shooter. Something very, very, very different. And ranked up, where's this guy? Oh, my God. This is crazy. I don't know who... What? What is happening? Oh, it's Boss Hunt. It's Boss Hunt. I was like, what is this mode? Is this guy hacking? But no, this is, uh, this is Boss Hunt. He's got RPGs. He's got massive amounts of bullets. This is something very, very, very weird indeed. And... I've got a little bit of health left. There's no health regen, and he's gone and killed me. All right, surely to spray and pray if we need to go and spray a lot of bullets and have a lot of health. The spray and pray is always, always my go-to. And this guy, very, very low. A few more hits and he's done. There we go. Well played. We went and took him out. Let's go and hop into another match. Now, what you guys will go and notice is there is no sound. Vertex.io didn't have any sound, which is a bit of a shame because I reckon if Sydney just went in patched in the sounds for uh, Crunker.io into this. That would be really, really, really cool. And I think there's a guy with an RPG. Oh, there it is. There it is. Taking him out. Reloading the gun. As you can see, it's really, really sweet. Like, this game definitely has a lot of potential. And you can see why it was the game before Crunker. This is, you know, has a lot of the same ideas, a lot of the same classes, a lot of the same effects and all of that. But this just is the predecessor, and Crunker.io just is the one that developed more upon it. But I would love to see the sounds back in the game. That would be great. And despite this game being... Oh my god, this guy has a flamethrower. Where is the flamethrower? I know there was supposed to be a flamethrower in Crunker, but there's actually one in this game. That's crazy. Let's swap to it. Arsonist, a duck, nade man. Okay, what's a nade man? The nade man's got a grenade launcher. Oh my, OMG, okay. I can see why uh, Sid and Vince didn't want this, this in Crunker.io because this would be absolutely, absolutely crazy. I know there was a concept for the Flame Man. We'll go and swap over to him. Actually, wait, the duck just does nothing. Okay, let's go and arson this and go and use the Flamethrower and see how this one goes and goes. But yeah, this is... Oh, arsonist versus arsonist and uh, he went and took me out. But yeah, it's really cool going back and seeing the different elements of Crunker history in this game. And honestly, it, it, the game is a little bit inactive. To be fair, it's not being developed at all. But man, I'd love to see an update or something like that. Just at least to put the sounds in. Maybe give it, you know, a little bit of a facelift or something like that. Probably not the best from a business sense. But man, this game is really, really sweet. And hey, if more people play, maybe there might be some incentive to go and do so. I'm spraying with a light machine gun. I get toasted by the arsonist. Now, the thing is, is that I'm on the Australian server. And it's very, very, like, quite easy to go and find games and go and find people. So... Like, I'm interested to go and see. Oh, he's trying to go and spray me down. The one for one trade right there. But hey, he went and won. He absolutely demolished me. I'm definitely not the best at top down 2D shooters. But hopefully, you guys went and enjoyed the games that we looked at today. And if you did, make sure to go and smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye, Renats. Undercover dudes, all the way from down under. Out.